And on Tuesday, Europe's largest green methanol plant opened in Denmark, boosting the continent's emissions reduction efforts. Sitting next to Northern Europe's biggest solar panel field and a large transformer station in the Danish countryside. Now, the site will produce e-methanol, a synthetic fuel made from renewable energy and carbon dioxide. Now, the site called CASO is only the third e-methanol plant in operation in the world after locations in China and the United States. The facility will produce up to 42,000 tons of e-methanol per year, the equivalent of 50 million liters. The e-methanol will serve as fuel for Maersk ships, raw materials for Legos, colorful plastic bricks, and a component for Novo Nordisk's insulin injection pens. So European Energy, uh, we have uh, uh, developed and constructed, and now uh, we are producing uh, e-methanol, uh, and that's the uh, the first and, and largest e-methanol plant in the world. Uh, so we've done everything from the start to to the uh, production uh, uh, product, which is then used to uh, for e-fuels, but also in the chemical industry with Lego and Novo Nordisk. The project has received a 53 million euro subsidy from a Danish green investment fund, according to Lester's report. Lesetre's report, pardon me, the European e-methanol sector accounts for 19% of plant capacity worldwide compared to 60% in China. We expect uh, in the next uh, few years, once the, uh, especially the electrolyzer technology becomes more mature, means that it becomes uh, more affordable, that then uh, the industry will be able to deliver and develop these plants in a more profitable uh, manner. We believe also that the willingness to pay by the, uh, the uh, consumers, uh, that will increase due to the regulations in the IMO and other segments as well. Now Denmark, a pioneer in renewable energy, in particular wind power, has touted its swift development of the project, opening the plant less than two years after receiving the construction permit. While U.S. and Chinese e-methanol plants use recycled carbon, the Danish side use biogenic carbon, which is carbon found in natural materials such as trees, plants and other forms of biomass.